Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Alderburn 01 from Ripe on the PC. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. This is the first test I've actually put thought into. I hope it's a worthwhile test to do. Based on portal test number five. I don't know if that's portal one or two. Difficulty 1.5 out of five. All right, let's take a look and see, shall we? There. Just so you know. I have to go give a deposition for an upcoming trial, in case that interests you. Monoport puzzle as well. Okay. Is that all that's doing? That's a long timer. Ha. Weighted cubes calibrated. I'll be honest, it's not filling me with a great sense of um, difficulty here. So where is... So that's just X there. Hmm. Well, um, what do we say about that? I don't really think there's much of a puzzle here, if I'm completely honest. Um, it's more just about pushing buttons, walking through portals, which is, um, yeah, not really much of a test there at all. Uh, I did see that you have requested a couple of others in the queue so just to pad out the video we will um, load up a couple of those other maps and also we'll jump into map number two in a moment but yeah this one is in my opinion not really a puzzle so uh, stand by and I'll be right back all right guys we are back with map number two here uh, this test chamber features reflection gel again difficulty 1.5 out of 5 um, Again, let's see what we are got here. While I was out investigating, I found a fascinating okay, new test element. It's never been used for human testing before. What I need to do here? Apparently, contact with it causes heart failure. The literature doesn't mention anything about oh, is that? cold failure, Actually. though. So you should be fine. Okay, I take that back. I take that back. Well, have fun soaring through the air without right, a care so we have a safety cube, of which there is no puzzle to get into the safety the cube, cube, also. Um, I don't think That's there right. is anything, but there is no dropper. Drop the oh, now it's, okay, so now it's that. Okay, gotcha. Okay, well, um, again, not really a puzzle. Not really seeing a puzzle here. Um, to expand on the puzzle, you could try and take this and make a puzzle to get that for a start. Um, I mean, this kind of serves no purpose. All it is is a fetch quest. You're just fetching it and bringing it back. With, oh, sorry, I do apologize. There is a dropper there. I apologize. Um, yeah, it's just a fetch quest. Um, to pick that up for, for the simple fact of just going up there and putting that on there you may as well just have the dropper active for a start um, I don't know if like the putting in the extra portal surfaces everywhere is to try and deter the player in some way but yeah it's not um, it's again not really a puzzle in this one I think you need to try and work on padding out the elements here and making them do more than one thing reuse of elements is a good way to make um it, it is a way to make a good puzzle in portal 2 don't just make a cube um something you pick up once put on a button and forget about for the rest of the puzzle try and make them um reusable all right so let's jump on to number three and four which is the final one that you uh, requested of these maps 
the old aperture theme, the destroyed kind of theme. And this one, you say, difficult two out of five. Uh, I'm not. I'm not that expert at designing puzzles, thinking of complex puzzles, so most aren't going to get harder than this. Okay. But you're claiming it's hard from the first two. So, let's see what we got. To start preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. A lot of antlers going around. The number one request, less deadly tests. That's ridiculous. How do they know for sure the tests are deadly if they could still write the suggestion? Uh, more there. Can I pick this up without dying? No, okay. So let's see where the paper plate is going. Have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Okay, that's. Trigger once you've got there, I guess. Weighted cubes calibrated. Okay. On the light bridge. And is that it, I guess? Again, though, I mean, it's. It's just like one time use of elements. You could do so much more. I mean, I don't really see the point of having these stairs here, if I'm completely honest. I would just get rid of the stairs and just have the fake plate. The plate doesn't need the stairs, they can just drop down. It almost seems like with the stairs, you've just kind of put them into the puzzle just to add more to the map, which isn't always. Um, needed you know, a lot of a lot of good puzzles have very few elements um, yeah simplicity is sometimes oh it's a lot of doors yeah simplicity sometimes is key just don't make things too complicated it just seems like you've kind of discovered B mod and you're going crazy with everything that's inside of it um, yeah, so now we've got some like cube things going on. I think we've got some bottomless pits there. What a horrible little machine. Can you use these on there? I guess you can. I didn't know if you could use Franken, Franken turrets on there or not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, again, like I said before, it just, I just feel like you've, almost like a, a kid with a new toy at Christmas, in a way. I mean this in the nicest possible way. You're almost like a, a kid with a new toy at Christmas. You're like, oh, shiny, what does everything do? And you just, you're just putting everything into a map, just to use these elements. Um, I think you should really focus on, A, fewer elements and you should be kind of think about those elements and think right what can i do how can i make this reusable how can i challenge the player to get this in the first place um if you're struggling for inspiration um there are some good there's a good map tutorial series uh, called how to make good test chambers by a demon arisen if you search for that on youtube there's um it's quite helpful videos about his map making process and how you can classify elements into major and minor elements and about making uh, puzzles and tests around those elements. So I definitely advise to go and check them out. Never ever though think that um, just because you can't think of anything to do you can't make harder tests. Like I say you don't need to put a lot of things, a lot of elements into a test to make it difficult and challenging to the player. Okay. Just using those elements correctly and in clever ways is what makes the puzzle challenging for the player. So um, 
I definitely advise heading on over to Demon's channel though and checking out that series. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to pick up some inspiration from there. Guys, thank you very much for watching though. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any money like to pay, please leave in the comments or head to my Google form. I'll link to that is down in the description. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. See ya.